Hey friends, so I know that you all really like Nerdy Birdie, so I have a treat today. Nerdy Birdie Tweets. Um, this is kind of a play on Twitter. In our story, uh, the author calls it Tweester, but maybe you've seen mom and dad or brother and sister or a cousin or somebody using Twitter. So we are going to find out what happens when we give animals technology. The author is Aaron Reynolds and the illustrator is Matt Davies. And here's Nerdy Birdie on our title page. And it says tap, 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 tap. Is that what you all look like when you're playing on your phone or your iPads? This is Nerdy Birdie. Nerdy Birdie loves playing video games. This is Vulture. Vulture thinks video games are boring. Vulture loves snacking on dead things. Nerdy Birdie thinks dead things are ugh, gross. Nerdy Birdie and Vulture are very different. They are also best friends. Three things Nerdy Birdie and Vulture love to do together. Number one, make fun of each other's lunch because what does Vulture like to eat? Dead things, yeah, gross, right? <laughs> Two, make silly faces. And three, take goofy pictures of each other. I love taking goofy pictures with my family and friends. It always cracks me up. And if you want to send me a message on Class Dojo or uh, Google Classroom of your silliest face, I would love that. That would make my day. One day, Nerdy Birdie discovered an amazing new game. It's called Tweester, he told Vulture. What does it do, asked Vulture. Lots of things. One, collect tons of friends online who may or may not text you back. Two, play games with them all. Three, tweet messages and pictures for them all to see. Sounds, uh, awesome, said Vulture, even though it really sounded kind of dull. Dull is an adjective that's a describing word. So what is another word for dull? If something is dull, it can also be, okay, so like boring. Good. An hour later, Nerdy Birdie had 50 new Tweetster friends. I'm friends with a flamingo. Neat. A day later, Nerdy Birdie had 100 new Tweetster friends. He played Angry Worms with an ostrich and tweeted his score. I'm friends with an ostrich. How cool is that? Cool. How do you think Vulture feels that Nerdy Birdie is on his phone whenever they are supposed to be hanging out together? Have you ever hung out with a friend and they spent all of their time maybe playing a game or on their phone? So it's not a very good feeling. And maybe we have maybe done that to other people. A week later, Nerdy Birdie had 500 new Tweester friends. He even, he never dreamed that he could have that many friends. I'm friends with a puffin. She lives in Iceland. Iceland, you're friends with a vulture and she's dying of boredom, boredom. Let's do something different in a minute. This is not fun. Did you realize I can fit your whole body in my beak? I could eat you in one bite if I wanted. Mm-hmm, that's nice. So he's so engrossed in his phone that he doesn't even notice that Vulture is joking about eating him. Vulture decided she had enough of watching Nerdy Birdie play Tweetster. Vulture spread her wings and flew away. An hour later, Nerdy Birdie finally noticed. So, what can Nerdy Birdie and Vulture do to have a friendship, but they also can have things that they both like? because sometimes we like the same things as our friends and then sometimes we don't, and that's perfectly fine. That's what makes us unique. But what do you think Vulture and Nerdy Birdie should do to make sure that no one feels left out? 
So let's see what Vulture decides to do. The next day, Vulture had a surprise for Nerdy Birdie. Vulture had joined Tweetster. They tweestered together all morning. At lunchtime, they put away their games. It was just like old times. They made fun of each other's lunches. They made silly faces. They took goofy pictures of each other. But when they logged back on to Tweetster, Vulture found a surprise waiting for her. What is this? And it says from, so he's commenting from Nerdy Birdie to Vulture Girl. Vulture Girl is a messy eater. She eats dead things. Ew. Oh, that? It's a picture from lunch. What did Nerdy Birdie do that was definitely not making a good choice? If you were Vulture, would you be upset if somebody did this to you? Why did you tweet it to all of your Tweetster friends? I thought it was funny. Just because you thought it was funny doesn't mean you should tweet it. Why? It's embarrassing. I just thought, no, you didn't. Vulture spread her wings and flew away. Do you think Nerdy Birdie meant to hurt Vulture's feelings? And what do you think Nerdy Birdie should do? What is something that you do when you have accidentally hurt your friend's feelings? An hour later, Vulture hadn't come back to their favorite telephone wire. A day later, Vulture still wouldn't answer any of Nerdy Birdie's calls. Vulture! A week later, Nerdy Birdie found a dead squirrel on the road, Vulture's favorite snack. He waited for hours, hoping she might stop by. Vulture never showed up. But then it hit him. Nerdy Birdie had 500 Tweetster friends. He would ask them for advice. He tweeted, tap, 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 tap. My best friend is mad at me. What should I do? 10 minutes later, nobody had tweeted back. An hour later, nobody had tweeted back. A day later, only three Tweetster friends had tweeted back. Laugh out loud, stinks to be you. Super unhelpful. That was from the ostrich. Puffin says, what do you want me to do about it? I live in Iceland. Unhelpful. And Pink Flamingo says, try not to be such a bird brain. Laugh out loud. It wasn't meant to be helpful, but it was super duper helpful. What do you think Nerdy Birdie is realizing? Nerdy Birdie closed down his game. He opened up his tiny little wings and he flew. He flew high, he flew low. He flew across town, he flew over fields until he spotted her. Vulture blended right into the branches of the dead oak tree, but Nerdy Birdie knew his best friend a mile away. I was a bird brain, Vulture said nothing. I shouldn't have tweeted that picture of you, Vulture said nothing. I'm sorry, said Nerdy Birdie. You should be, said Vulture. I really am. And he really was. Have you ever had to apologize to somebody for something that you did? I think we all have. What about your 500 Tweetster friends? Nerdy Birdie shrugged. One real live you is worth a thousand Tweetster friends. This is Nerdy Birdie. This is Vulture. They are very different. They are also best friends.
Some days, Nerdy Birdie decides what they should do. Take that. I'll just beat your angry worms all time high score. One more game, please. And some days, Vulture decides what they should do. Dad, a dead raccoon, dead ahead. I see it. And some days, they even get together and tweak. <laughs> so, that is what happens if you give animals technology. So, I hope that you like Nerdy Birdie Tweets. I think I like this one even better than the first one. So, don't forget to send your silly uh, picture to me. I would love to see that. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.